Omanyo. Yeah. Omanyo yeah. muli mugwe. Yeah. Akanda keke. Yeah. Akoze sachi. Yeah. Akoze sachi. Yeah. Kale no recho baganda bange mwe kubile ko mungalu batoya. Cheta kale pate geza steady bugaga busika manigo na skill yo mungalozo. Muchitegeke. A sweater over Taulo over Lugoye, and you can talk to the Saturday and the Mitwari town of Dalanda. Could be what you gave for the way. Nadia Gadden for the Saturday and the Mitwari coming and for the Domana Sumende Rosina. I think I'm a woody relative and Abana Uganda and the Uganda and see a singer Teri nsi dale singa Uganda kubanga Uganda mtu wabane sente Are you ready of supporting all muna Uganda mune kati tugenze tuiga Kati mwena wa somye chemba sava chimu skills emu somye Ebi nitu vya mwemu vikoli nga viyonjo nga vila vikaburu uji kwa just chokola Vamo nyumba yotu wala otembe ye echintu cho tewetu lako Abantu wajia chiku la wana Uganda wali ready Waku supporting the abantu wawe wali productive Mwuchitakedi? Yes! Yeah. Fede mtu wakide? Yes! Yeah. Fede mtu wakide vya kajona? Yes! Yeah. Katika wachina fede tugama antina mwamu sovro kuwa kina yeah. Na mwenye njagale swete nungi kuleroze mkoze wanundawe vitu vina viko ulungi Nari yagande nangu kukulida yo zuena Kwa mwenye swete singa Amama sikenda kula hiyo, njaka ngambule kufeno mo Siyo, batunda atunde Bala, eno, eno ya meka Eno mwena kwaji Ya, ya sende meka Ya bideza doya Haa, ya bideza doya Haa, ya bideza doya Haa, ya sende meka Ya, ni ya yu kwa kwa Mama, thank you so much. Ida, bala mo, mama katika njia ya pande ya gara mama kusabi chini. Zeni bala, tu kati tu agala tu saba tu kwa chema vidi. Tu kule chema ita media tuwa. Tu kwa chema na mauli leba mu Uganda bona ngavi vidi visatu. Tu ita mu skilling centers muenda. Tu lage abana Uganda chichi echi tu fu echi mu skilling center. Atuwa chenemu ya mikala mbande ya nsala Nzenawe tuchukoze se budget ya febabili nzenawe Kukukukukeze kaliko Thank you very much Mwema ni nyomu ya nilidala Mama echo nsaba Tunja kutu ukako Skidi nsente emu Kukuli runako Tueanzi zanyo Tueanzi enge Thank you so much Oh, eh, mama, ni sawa kaso. Nemo. Oh, wanje. Okay, do you have the knife? Eh. Okay, let us put it there on the table to cut. Oh, this is a gift for you. Thank you so much. But let's deal with this cake first so that uh, Madame can go. Okay, zigiwa no kumeze no mangu mangu, so that madama sarozi sala. Yes. Every single day we will be doing that. The program will be some of the things you know. And every student will be able to listen to the happy little melody. Little melody. Let us get some fun. We will be able to listen to the happy little melody.
Atena temwena vila kulangi Nina skilling center Temwena vila kukuli na vantu masima Baganda mamwe, vaneima mamwe Avale mentu wa vajemu skilling centers Vafune ovulamo, ovulunji Kata se president wa Uganda Kale katsoke tumalize nsonga ya keke no MC doze chojangoti handali nge mambu Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Um, Commissioner General Prisons, RSCC Kampala, our friends, Faram, Baby Cool, our parents, our students, and our friends that are here, you are most welcome. I want to take this opportunity to first ask you, after the Dr. Katana has said it all, but me, mine is to just give a vote of thanks. The first one is to the President. Can you please clap for the President? Can you clap again for the President? I am going to give you three major objectives for skilling Ugandans. The first one is to curb unemployment. Can you clap for that? The second one is to increase our household incomes in our families. Can you clap for that? The third one is to skill you to have a tangible skill that you shall hold on to for the rest of your life. And the final one is that he always thinks to better Ugandans economically, politically, and socially.
That means that the president is also very happy with you.
president. We want to come in a program with president. You cannot go when I, I am not thanked to you. I was this week, Ampala. Thank you so much for having the president. Really, this is what he does. He does it for the whole country. So the children of Ugandans, and they are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are our friends. We are the young, we are the young, let's continue remoping this country together. Thank you. Um, take this opportunity to invite the Commissioner General to come and say something to you. The senior security officers present here. The managers of this program. I heard of uh, my friend Farida and my neighbor here. The administrators. And the students. Good afternoon. Hey. I have not heard you. Good afternoon. Afadali. I'm called Canon Dr. Gyawa Shesia. I'm the Commissioner General of Prison. And I want to thank the first of all I want to thank the President of the Republic of Uganda for this initiative. Why don't you clap for him? And I want to thank Dr. Katanga for the implementation. And I thank the Comptroller for using the money wisely. Otherwise, you could have eaten that money. You can ask me. I have very many people inside here, up here, who have eaten money. And big amounts of money. So, Comptroller, I want something for that competence. And I thank the managers for your dedication. I thank the administrators. And instructors for your dedicated work. And I thank the students for good behavior for you are learning seriousness. And the skills which you are acquiring. You know, uh, our prison population currently is growing at 8% per annum. And I think if it was not for this program, most of you would be my guests up here. Why am I saying this? 78% of our inmates are youth below the age of 35. So, Madam Comptroller and Dr. Katana, you are not only creating employment by imparting skills to these young people, but you are directly impacting to the growth of the prison population. Because I have heard from testimonies from those who came here to spy. One member confessed that he belonged to a group called 2BC. I don't know what that would mean. But he said he was very dangerous.
There were several who came here, very young people. And thanks to you, thanks to your effort, I, I want to believe that after the after the Bush War and after the consolidation of security in terms of growth of the institution of the UPDF, the institution of the police, institution of the prisons, I see this program is the next revolution. There is no doubt about that. This is an army. An army of skilled people. I think that's what the country should yearn for. All over the country. And it will bring this country out of whatever reservations we might have. Honorable uh, we call you honorary with the state controller. No, you are a permanent secretary, I see. But when I was uh, allowing this program to use this former farm, I didn't know that a very serious program was going to come out like this. I'm actually humbled. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It is so shameful that I had, this thing is in my premises that I had not come to see what we are doing. I'm really humbled. And I'm going to direct my, my commissioner for inspectorate, Moses Centaro. Tomorrow, or tomorrow but one, the commissioner industries, the Commissioner of Rehabilitation and Integration, the Commissioner for Planning, they must come and visit this place. And you will give me a report on complete action. As usual, I'm not requesting you. <laughs> I'm directing you. <laughs> On our part in prisons, Madam Comptroller, we shall continue to support this program. <laughs> you are talking over our our meager support in terms of water and electricity. But we are giving this water and electricity to those who wronged the community. <laughs> <laughs> to those who came in conflict with the law. Then why don't we support these young people who are learning the speed? It would be shameful if we did the contrary. I have seen that these buildings are not big enough. I wish I had something to do about it. I can only say that I am going to discuss I want to discuss it deeply with the State House Comptroller and I see what you can do, what we can do. As you are aware, I have labor. This is not small labor. And labor is strength. If I put them in the field to make bricks, they can make a hundred thousand bricks in five hours. <laughs> so 
So, so I, I, I will see how we can work on this infrastructure. Yes, I have, uh, apart from Ro Reba, Ro, you know why I call it Ro? Unskilled, unskilled Reba. I have also skilled Reba. And we have what we call the prison's engineering gang. Yeah, we call it a gang because it has prison officers as well as inmates. Yes, we work together. It's a good gang, not a bad gang. And we can see how to improve this infrastructure so that you can even accommodate more, more younger people. So as the students, I want to congratulate you on acquiring skills. These are called life skills. They are going to make your life easier. I heard testimony from this young girl here who was crying. Acquiring skill has, is going to make her life easier. I heard testimony from this young man who was putting on shoes which he made himself because he got skilled here. That is the way for the country to go. So I congratulate you very much. I wish you success in your coming exams and when and when you go out when you go out you will continue to be well behaved engage in gainful activities so that you don't become our guest. Don't be deceived don't be deceived by the appearance of the prisoners you see. These days when they are displaying prisoners, they are all in uniform, they are bathed, they have shaved their hair, they look nice. <laughs> but it is not nice inside there. It's not The other day I was very happy when we had the, the cabinet minister brought our facilities. When he came out, when he came out, he was crying how he is going to change the prison. He was crying how he must change the prison. I think that was a very good cry, but I wouldn't want you to be part of those statistics that come into our facility. I thank you, State House Comptroller, for inviting me. As I said, you have really humbled me, and I will continue to support this program of the president. that I support the president. At this level, you don't only support, you must be loyal to the president. You must be serious in what you are doing so that we can change this country. I have seen the materials which are being used. I've seen what they are capable of doing. I think we should no longer import those children clothes from uh, is it India, from China, from Bangladesh. It is not necessary to import those things. 
Madam controller, you are aware. Teresa, go the umbrella. Teresa, umbrella. That person is going to making a significant contribution to cotton production. I, I think we are now the biggest cotton producers as a group. We are only lacking some equipment. But the, His Excellency has already promised us the equipment. We hope to triple the production of cotton, which will directly feed into the textile industries. And therefore, we use our cotton to produce what I have seen being sold here at the river. It is possible. It's very possible. And we on the side of business, we shall be very, very, very serious as usual and make sure that these things are achievable. Uh, Dr. Katana, thank you. And I didn't know you were other political mobilization, but I think your speech was the real this one is that you are capable of political mobilization. But, but thank you for your work once again. Thank you, Farida and your group. Thank you, RCC. And the Baram and the Bebe Pool. I thank you for successfully avoiding my facility. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we also like good people. Why should we have good bad people with us? That is for another day. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, thank you so much. I do the word in and I want to really give praise and thanks to God. There is a word in the Bible which says that in the day of your power, people shall offer themselves willingly. I find we get a great team. We have good people. Instructors are good. Students are good. Whoever comes to work with us is good. I don't know who does it, but I know that it is God we trust. We are godly and we are righteous. I want to assure you, Madam Comptroller, that every single coin you give us, it goes to where it belongs. No one takes any coin. And on this note, I want to tell everyone that has been entrusted with the responsibility. Actually, to tell you to really save yourselves, it's not about righteousness. For us to receive money to take care of such depraved people, orphans left out, and we eat it, live alone being righteous and God-fearing, we don't want to incur a curse upon ourselves and upon our children. Whoever eats the money that is given for services to God's people and eats it, I really want to tell you to rescue yourselves. The Bible tells us that even that wall, even the window, even the stone shall testify against you. Why should I go in a house and I cannot sleep well? Because I know that I store money and I build this house. What blessings will my children have when I know that they have studied and taken them abroad? When it was meant for these orphans, how will it be? Will it go well for our children? So I pray that people learn about fighting corruption, but people, please, God says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Do think righteously by that day that when you sleep, you have a good sleep. There is no conviction that you store me, you store me, you store me. That is what we avoid. But who is giving us that power? It is the fear and the work with the Lord. 
Then we have a song by Bugembe, which is our, like a film, which says, Katonda Badewa? Katonda Badewa? Katonda Badewa? Katonda Badewa? Katonda Badewa? Then we can play the I want to call all of you, my children, as you are going out. We say you are created in God's image. You must also act as God. You must have a character like God's and you are going to have success and you are going to be a godly people. Yes? What do you have, Honorable Doctor? Honorable Doctor, Mr. Barrow, can you please say something to all of us? We may be gambo. Every time we are, you hear our honorable members and other people who need, I think, they should come to us so that we can give them some advice. They say that Museven, and they call him Museven, has so big staff, Basavinga Museven, have so many chefs, Basavinga Museven. Has so many fleet of cars and 900 workers and so on. And they say all that is from seven to eat. And they bring the budget of state house and they put it before us, billions and billions. And they say that is to sit, feed seven at his house. Now, really we want to bring this to the open. If we don't know things, let us keep quiet. Uh oh, let us seek knowledge. So someone tells that, but now, here alone, in skilling center in Kampala, the staff of the seven is 230 that receive salaries from state house. When you put the hubs, which are 19, times the ones that we have here, all that is counted on President Museven staff. And they are the ones feeding these students. This money goes to the cooks, it goes to buy materials because our training is actually almost 100% practical. And the materials themselves for us in skilling here, every month we spend over 350 million on instructions only materials. So all that is on budget of State House. And who is the manager is Madame State House Comptroller. Leave alone donations. Leave alone those seeking uh, uh, work, leave alone all the countries and all the regions in Uganda coming to meet the president and they cook for them because that house is at a level of five star. So we beg to really advise people not to bring unresearched and I think conveniently lied to people who they think they are valuable, all that and our president is a working president and is a giving president. So when they say all that budget is to feed them certainly, I think let us really honor the country of Uganda, the state of Uganda, that this is the president of the Republic of Uganda and this is the state house, not the house of seven and it is serving the whole country of Uganda. And that is why the budget goes high. The seven doesn't eat enough. So it's not a man, but he's a leader of a country that is among the nations. And all presidents come, and all the nations come to State House, and we have to take care of them. And that is the budget of State House. So honorable members of parliament, we thank you as literate people, and uh, policy makers, let us not lie to people who are ignorant of things. There is also this word in the Bible. I use it because they are principles, not just uh, religious words. It says that war unto those who lead the blind and lead them into pits. It says that at least So don't lead the blind and make them fall into pitches. Let us Play politics that are good, that are guiding. Uh, I think I'm not a politician, so I'll stop there. <laughs> and then we go uh, like at this juncture. 
our students, you know you are going to work, you are not going to look for jobs. I mean, because also we learned that the arm of the diligent shall bear a rule. But the lazy, but the people who are going to So, when you are going to see that, they are not slaves, they are going to work. Madam Comptroller, allow me to call you and you come and bless your people. I thank you.